Tonight, this Bay Area artist has let her success go to her head. All of my heads have life stories. Meet the Bay Area woman who's expressing herself in a very unique way. But first, now you know the Bay Area is one of the most artistically creative places in the entire world. Well, you are about to meet a woman who is using her creativity in a very unusual way. <laughs> I'm warning you, don't try this at home. No one is more excited about going to work than this San Francisco artist. Oh, it's exhilarating. It makes my heart beat a little faster. Lynn Rudder has a big head. Actually, she has several big heads to her credit. I just think life is too short to, to do without art. Everywhere you look, you should see something beautiful. Lynn's philosophy is the bigger, the better. After working for several years as a general muralist, Lynn realized her talents lie in painting larger than life. I was always impressed by being on the scaffold right next to a portrait of a saint where the head of the saint was bigger than I am tall and how it made me feel to be right next to something like that and I thought that would be a really interesting thing to do in people's homes. Half the fun is the art supplies. <laughs> First big giant head was Vermeer's lace maker. It was about 12 feet high. When you're right up next to them, they really are impressive. It takes three or four months to, to go from start to finish because it, there's quite a bit of time involved in figuring out what to do and, and how big to make it. If you're going to spend, you know, many hundreds of hours working on a face, the face has to be somebody to you. And uh, all, of, all of my heads have life stories and they have friends and they talk to me. <laughs> they are... <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I love them all differently. They're my children. <laughs> They're my children. Um, I right now am very enamored of, of Max, of Maxi Max, as I call him, because he's the one in progress. He's looking right at you with his eyes, and he's trying to tell you something. Oops. I meant to do that. Sometimes your mistakes are the best paintings you ever do. I'm going to go for the two-handed painting approach here. It's very good for my soul. I just, um, I love the, the transformation that the room undergoes. Oh, I feel very proud of my, oh. of my person that I created. Her work is striking, her enthusiasm contagious, and at the end of the day, Lynn's murals leave everyone in awe.